right, we're checking out the only game where the better you draw, the more you break the lives of the people around you. It's draw it, break it. I know what you're saying. Is your car just the word yeet? Yes. Although my car mostly fell apart. The word yeet is that there's not much of the yeet left. Oh God, I probably should have put some extra. Oh, I'm running over my own yeet. I was gonna say, I probably should have put some of the extra like power in the back of the vehicle because the Y just wasn't enough weight. You won, I don't feel like I won anything. Okay, now I'm actually against somebody. You have to get money so that you can increase the things that your car does. What if my car is just a shotgun? I actually have to draw the shotgun upside down just because of how this thing works. Can it have like a little pew pew coming out of it? Kind of, it just has to be connected. Put the trigger down here, it's the slide. This actually looks more like a car than my last car. I mean, my last car was just the word ye. So it does make sense. Mm, my first chunks of money. We're gonna get air. Oh my God, it's not the car that matters in the distance, it's my body. <laughs> broken body. <laughs> Is there the broken bones meter? Yes! I love the positive reinforcement. Ooh. This is what winning feels like. So now I have a wheel on top. I guess I could draw like Pac-Man. I don't know if I have enough. Oh, okay, good. I was gonna say, I didn't know if I'd have enough ink to actually connect this. Can I get an eyeball in here? Does it have to connect to anything? It kind of does. There it is. What am I up against? Oh, I'm like doing backflips. Oh, this is why I have the three wheels. Pac-Man is doing incredibly well. Luckily, this thing is pretty flexible. Okay, so then you slide down the poles. I can't believe I didn't get part of my car ripped in half. The car can obviously fall apart. And look at that launch. Oh my God. How many broken bones we got here? 106. Uh, does this give me more wheels? Like, does this give me more frame? What does any of this mean? Give me more frame. What happened? All it did was like water down my frame. I mean, I guess it's stronger. Oh, cool. I get a car with a mohawk. Give it a large nose, kind of like a mouth, a little grin right there. There's the eyeball. I think this is gonna work. Do I have enough, do I have enough ink for an ear? Eh, just barely. That's kind of a sad ear. Can I make a bigger ear? No, now it just looks like part of my ear got ripped off my head. Are you ready? I gotta find a way. Like, oh, the guy didn't even make it up the first part. Look at how far he is behind me. I gotta find a way to draw this in such, in su oh God, oh, in such a way that it launches my dude as far as possible. Well, the front of my car is missing now. <laughs> So he did, in fact, fly straight out, fly straight through the windshield. All right, I guess now I can buy up the uh, the wheels. What is this? They don't look like wheels now. They look like cinnamon buns. Uh, all right, here's the plan. We're gonna connect this. I'm gonna just do the holy Dorito because like I said, I want this guy to go flying as far as possible. Oh, I actually have to drive now. Okay, no! well, you should have told me that before I... <laughs> There's nothing left of my car. No! The Dorito didn't work. A circle is a stronger shape. So I'm just gonna kind of see if this does anything or if my frame just explodes apart, which is exactly what happened just now. Although we started to come back a little bit. All right, you know what? I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use more ink up here. Okay, so I've doubled up on ink on the top. Now that should give, give us some extra weight up there. Okay, it's working good so far. Oh yeah. See, it hasn't, it hasn't immediately snapped this time, which is gonna lead to a big win. Now, hopefully my guy gets launched. There we go. <laughs> Cause there's really nothing holding him in where I put him. Oh yeah. <laughs> Over the barrier. Nice smooth 106 bones there. All right, so now we can increase the tire size. This looks less like a car and more like something that's trying to break my spine. I'm trying to draw a hand with really stubby fingers. Kind of looks like a cauliflower. My vehicle isn't actually connected, so I don't even know if this can roll. It <laughs> can't, it just sits there. What if it's like a, what if it's like a spider thing? Like this, and then put like some, uh, some struts in there. Actually, yeah, let's put some more struts in here. There we go. This looks, this looks strong. This looks very unsafe. There is nothing holding this man into his vehicle. Hopefully he can do a full flip. Nope, he just lost part of his skull and most of his wheels. Come on, baby. You can still do this. 50% of a car is 50% more than you really need. Oh, we're winning this. I can't believe this is winning this. There's almost nothing left of this car. Yes! The best part is, 
like part of my car just kept going on its own. Look at how far that got. How come we can't use that as the judgment of how far we got? I guess I'll, uh, I don't know, get a max speed. I should have probably increased the durability. All right, so what if I put like a little globe around our guy? This looks so ridiculously top heavy. I guess I could connect it. Oh, never mind. I couldn't connect it. I didn't have enough juice left. It looks like I'm trying to protect him. Ugh. But not really. There's only one piece left. Oh, the other. So if it catches you, it kind of counts. Like my car is in two different pieces, but they're still technically working together. Okay, now there's just one piece left. And I roll to the finish. It's meant to make you feel bad because you don't actually break any bones if you don't get launched. Great. Now, so now it's me and my son. Let's try this in the Dorito formation. Actually, you know what? What happens if it's double Dorito? Top and bottom down Dorito. Oh, well, so there's a few things I need to say here. First off, I didn't connect this very well and we're going to die, but his son died first. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna scribble in the middle there. Maybe that'll, maybe that'll give it some extra, extra juice to work here. Oh yeah, that's working real good. Okay, all right. Both of us are still alive. I don't know how. We're both eating the concrete now, which is good. Full front flip through the bricks, down. Got one coin out of this. That's it. Oh God. I mean, we're both still on the machine, but my son and I are both probably dead. Like we've both been turned into a fine paste. Who was it that got launched? Was that me or my kid? Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and crank up that durability. Oh yeah, they give you a lot of ink now. This is what I wanted. See, now I can have a literal banana which makes me very happy. In fact, I can even I can even make like part of the banana peel there. Kind of going this way. There's more banana peel down there. Oh, that's sweet. Oh, this is fantastic. It's like a sad boat, basically. That's what it feels like anyway. All right, through the front. This is driving incredibly well. <laughs> I can't believe that bananas were so aerodynamic this whole time. Now it's starting to fall apart. This jump's probably just going to disintegrate the banana mobile. Whoa! <laughs> oh my god! Failed how? <laughs> what do you mean I failed? Didn't I win? I got 57 bones broken for my for my efforts. Oh, I won! I don't get it! Failed what? I managed to do two things at once. Totally counted. X. Box. There we go. Alright, let's see how well the Xbox drives. Okay, the Xbox is kind of- it drives kind of like an amoeba. If you notice, it's just kind of- Wow. Oh god. Oh, this is awful. Oh, never mind. This is amazing. Oh, I am fantastic at driving this thing. Yep. Just stay in there as long as you can, buddy. Yep. <laughs> We're not getting a lot of distance right now. Oh, my vehicle just ran me over. All right, so we can increase acceleration now. Oh, I've got two children. They're multiplying. All right, here's the plan. We're gonna kind of connect things like this. All right, then we're gonna get the sweet snow plow in the front, like this here. Look at that. Looks like a tractor. Come back around this way, kind of cross it like this. Put a windshield on here. Looks like the Jetsons car. I'm not even really sure. Like I, it, it was kind of like supposed to be a snow plow in the beginning. Oh wow. Oh big air. Oh yeah, great suspension too. And by great suspension, I mean. <laughs> Whatever kid was in the front just absolutely got stuck underneath the wheel well. All right, I'm gonna try and win this big time, and then we gotta get a ton more money to get upgrades. What if it's just like a spiral? I know I said I was gonna take this seriously, and then I drew that, but you know, it might work. See, we get all three tires touching the ground right now, see? Look at, this is big brain stuff right here. See, the other guy only had two tires. Oh yeah, big air, big air, holy crap. I didn't realize we would get that much air. We're gonna get all the way! Oh my god! Oh, it's got all the way to the end! How many bones was that? 118! Time to increase the frame to green. I don't really know how the color green could possibly be any better than what we already have. Here's a sailboat. I'll put that like there. When I look at what the other creature is creating... In fact, I think I'm just gonna make like a stick figure next time. Let's see how that works. I don't know if I can... Oh god! I made it without using the without using the the chassis grinder. Yes, big distance. Ow! Like here, if you if you draw like the stick figure body, okay, kind of bring this up here. Draw the head. <laughs> draw the arms. This is oh, we're gonna die so fast. <laughs> I can't believe this is working. 
<laughs> Come on, baby. We're still in first place. We can do this. <laughs> no. Hold on. Let me see if I can. The opponent hasn't even gotten past the first, like the first area. So we're we're basically winning by default. We should not have won this. I drew a stick figure. This shouldn't even be a thing. I'm gonna break my back on this. Okay, good. Keep the wheels moving. Okay, now it just looks like buttons. The wheels seem to be getting worse. Not gonna lie, the last time I drew like a broccoli, things seem to work out, you know, pretty good. Hopefully I can connect my broccoli. That uh, looks more like a like a badminton shuttlecock. Um, ow. Well, hopefully I don't really need the back of my skull. Ugh, because I'm going to be losing most of it. Oh, see, all I did was get rid of a lot of extraneous weight. See, it's so much, so much lighter now. We're gonna get so much extra distance. Look at the distance. Ugh, more tire size. Kill. Come on, let me have the full Ellen. Yes. All right, the kill mobile is ready. All right, well, part of the killmobile actually left the rest of the vehicle. Maybe that was a great idea. Like I said, in the end, this thing is like Skynet levels of intelligence. Okay, it's actually trying to strangle me. My vehicle tried to just bludgeon me to death, which makes total sense. Oh, no, there's nothing left. Oh, God, there's nothing left. I have to use my vehicle to run my body over to the end. <laughs> Whatever, it worked. All right, here's a head. There's the eyes. There's the unhappy mouth. I love that the mouth can just kind of like sit here in the middle of nowhere. I think it'll just like limply fall to the ground. Yeah, it's just extraneous weight just sitting on the bottom of the car, but I had to have it there just to have the face in the first place. All right, now luckily my son's head just broke our fall. That turned out to be excellent. We go ahead and flop down here. We're somehow on the top of this ramp. That's interesting. Okay, man, upgrading the frame was a great idea, and here we go! I love that now it's not even deciding how many bones get broken, it's just like, yeah, it's somewhere, somewhere around this here. I didn't even hit the ground yet. I'm literally driving a sock. My sock will destroy the opponent. You can see it right now. You can see the speed. You can see the agility. You can see one chunk of my sock just got vomited. Okay, most of my sock is gone. The only thing that was left was like the heel, and that was enough to send me into- Oh no, <laughs> that was enough to actually bludgeon me after I hit the ground as well. That broke 66 bones out of that. But we still haven't gotten, like, light speed. There has to be a way to bring this all- to glitch this out and go faster. Don't mind me, just literally strapping a rocket to my back. Why? Well... I figure it could give me the edge, but in the end, my vehicle just, you know, disintegrated at the end anyway. Bigger wheels! I'm actually kind of curious what happens if you draw this thing basically in reverse. Like, you draw, like, a giant brain on top, and you just connect the seat with one single stem. Well, about to find out. I mean, it does- it looks like the guy next to me had kind of a- Whoa, this is super fast! Oh my god! Whoa! <laughs> oh my god! What happened? Uh, somehow I managed to go light speed! Yay! I don't understand. <laughs> well, I drew a brain and I literally went light speed. Anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of Draw Break It. To the next time, stay foxy and much love.